Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a coffee taste test with the Caribou Coffee Variety Pack. So you get 10 of the Daybreak, 10 of the Caribou Blend, 10 of the Lakeshore, and 10 of the Mahogany. So I cut open each one of these K-Cups. They all have two tablespoons of coffee grounds in them. So the Daybreak is a light roast and it looks pretty light. The Caribou Blend looks like a medium roast. It looks a little bit darker than the Lakeshore. And then the mahogany says it's a dark rose, but it's not, the coffee grounds are not super dark. It says these are Rainforest, Rainforest Alliance certified. So this variety box you get, they just kind of throw them all in this box. I'll be brewing them on the 8-ounce setting with the Keurig K Supreme. So let's start off with the Daybreak. Again, I brew my K-Cups on the 8-ounce setting. You can brew it on the 6th. It doesn't really tell you, but it's just whatever you prefer. You can brew it on 10 or 12, but 8 ounces with 2 tablespoons of coffee grounds is about right for me. Okay, next we'll do the Lakeshore and the Mahogany. Again on the eight ounce. Okay, so we've got the daybreak, it looks pretty good. The lakeside and the mahogany so none of them look too dark they all look about the same color okay so I also had to brew a cup and I put cream and sugar in it again I'm not a coffee expert I have, I've got to put cream and sugar in it to kind of do away with the the bitterness that way I can kind of taste it a little better so the daybreak right here this did seem like a pretty light coffee, kind of a breakfast blend, and it, it seemed pretty weak to me. Now, the caribou blend, it was pretty natural, or neutral. But there wasn't a big taste, um, it wasn't a dark, it wasn't a light. There wasn't a lot of additive flavor to it. It just seemed like a very basic, neutral coffee. The Lakeshore, the Lakeshore seemed a little earthy. It almost had the uh, taste of a darker coffee. Now, what really surprised me was the mahogany. I was expecting it's a dark roast, but it doesn't taste like a dark roast. And it actually tastes a little sweet. Um, I really didn't notice that until I put a little cream and sugar in it. But um, it definitely tastes really good. I was very surprised by um, how quickly the bitterness went away. I didn't have to add very much cream or sugar. And it tasted really good. Again, I... I'm not used to dark roasts, and this dark roast tasted really good. Check out my other videos where I do a comparison on the Green Mountain, the 8 o'clock. I do a coffee taste test with Amazon's blend, the medium to light roast, and also their dark to medium. So you get these big um, boxes that come with several in them. And I do the donut shop. And I also do a taste test with all four Maxwell House coffees. So these, this Caribou coffee was, was pretty good coffee. I was kind of expecting it to maybe taste a little bit better. But again, the mahogany was very good. I was very surprised with it. So I'm going to say the mahogany was number one. Um, followed by the Daybreak and the Caribou blend. And then the Lakeshore just didn't seem a little earthy taste to me. Maybe a nutty taste or something. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.